Okay, this is a continuation of my last video. I couldn't get the rain fly on, and that's because I had it inside out. The Mountain Harbor logo, it confused me because it was super white on the inside, um, but then when I read it, it's backwards, so obviously I had it inside out. Anyways, the Mountain Harbor logo is on the other side. It's not, you don't want a big bright white, I get that. So they've done a bright white on the inside, so it's not as crazy bright on the outside. Um, I'd show you that to you, but I don't want to move the camera. So, anyways, this rainfly went off just like every other rainfly I've ever had in a tent. It has these little Valsero tabs here that connect to the poles. Um, these things are really cool. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but when you attach this to the pegs, the rainfly to the pegs, they have a tab now that it's like super easy to tighten. All you need is just one finger, or sorry, two hands, but just tug it and it makes it tight, it's great. And again, they have this on the other side as well. This side ties back super easily, comes undone, very easy as well. And there's Velcro here to, to seal that completely so that way you have uh, a place to put your gear. So if there's not enough room in the tent, you have two places to put your gear where it will stay nice and dry. So again, obviously I'm not an expert, but uh, I didn't read the directions, I just figured this out. Um, again, hardly any um, experience, so anyone can do this. Now you have a tent, put it up, you're good, you're gonna be dry. I've heard really good things about this tent, but I will, when I go to Wyoming, so there is a chance of rain uh, for the first couple days, so maybe I'll get to test out uh, the waterproofing on it. Uh, but until then, this is the Mountain Hardware Aspect 3 put up by a novice. See you later.